At the Nebraska Power Farming Show last week, we talked with Lars Peterson about moving the family farm from one generation to the next. As he said when we talked about farm succession, that's not always a quick and easy thing to do. That means transitioning the farm to the next generation successfully, meaning that the farm continues and that there's family harmony to Thanksgiving table at the end of it. <laughs> now, how do you ensure that? Because that's obviously something that's probably not, say, or not, uh, not easy to do. We, we uh, start at the family level or the personal level. So we're making sure uh, through our interviews that everyone's goals and values are aligned that if there's differing expectations among some of the people in the family, say generation two, that that's brought out in the open and we can discuss it. And also we talk about generation one uh, around issues like letting go and, and uh, what is it going to take for you to be able to let go and have generation two step up. Are we also talking about maybe a change in the vision of the farm, maybe where a new generation wants to take a farm, if they have a new vision for it, if the uh, older generation is okay with that? Almost always. <laughs> uh, both a different vision and a different way of doing things. So that's where some of the conflict is sometimes, is that generation two wants to take the, wants to grow. Generation one's, I've been there, I've done that, done that, I don't want to do that. It's going to uh, put my security at risk. Uh, but also generation one oftentimes doesn't want this uh, farm managed by cell phone or by absentee people, you know, so just really working around both of those issues. Is there a way to slowly shift the roles from one generation to another? So it's a, I, I assume this is a transitional process, not on you know, day X, it all changes hands. Well, if people don't plan on day X, it changes <laughs> hands. Uh, hopefully exactly what you said, that there's uh, a gradual change and that one way that that's really helpful is that G, generation two, G2, can be tested along the way. So it's really to also determine if G2 can and will step up not just if G1 can let go. What are those tests? Just more and more responsibility and more independent decision making, more input into how the operations run. What about the financials, both uh, running the financials and getting a part of the return? That's, that's a crucial part. Um, and one of the other parts of that is Generation 1 will not let go if two things are at risk. First is financial security. Unless they can let go in a way that doesn't put their retirement at stake, they won't let go. And if they think family harmony could be disrupted, they also won't let go. How hard is it to train? I mean, overall, even when you sit down and talk with people, how hard is it for them to let go of the farm and give it on to the next generation, even if it's family? You know, sometimes it's very, very hard. Sometimes it's not. The times when it doesn't seem to be so hard is when someone we're working with, Generation One, has been through a really tough transition themselves where their father didn't let go. And so they understand that. What if it doesn't go right? Have you had those situations? We've had plenty of those. And what happens <laughs> what, there? We get called in when it doesn't go right. <laughs> what no. happens? I mean, how do you reconcile? Is there, is there something to be done? Uh, I mean, sometimes it's kind of a mediation process, um, but a lot of times it's just getting people back to the table and, and communicating and also helping everyone understand what each person wants. Um, so that they, you know, sometimes people think they're miles apart and they're really not at, at the end of the day. So what's the, uh, the step one, if people are out there, if there's a family farm that they're looking to transition, what would you advise is the simplest thing for them to do to start off? If it's generation one, get real clear on what you want and, and if you're financially secure or not, and get real clear on uh, the family harmony piece, what's likely to happen and what steps you might take. And the second generation? Second generation, uh, don't push too hard because the harder you push, the harder G1 will push back. Uh, and also get real clear about what you want and uh, if you're on farm, really keep in mind what it means to treat the off farm people fairly. I'm working with a family right now where generation two, the ones on the farm, don't want anything that compromises their growth. So they want all the farmland, period. Uh, the first generation says, no, you're not getting all the farmland, period. You know, so just some understanding about what the other G2 members might be thinking.